Hello again everyone. So in this video I'm answering the questions that you left me in my last video regarding um, suffragist personal shopping with my experience with them and the process etc. And so that's what you're gonna see. I hope it's helpful and yeah so let's get to it. First of all I want to apologize if this video becomes too long. Um, I just this is my first attempt recording it and we'll just see how the length goes. I'm sorry if I look down. It's because I have my iPad where I will be reading the questions that was left on my video. Okay, so the questions are pretty similar and in that they well you guys want to know how I ended up with the personal shopping and how the process actually works. Okay, so let me start off with how I got into personal shopping. And it's because of the Chanel walk, classic walk, um, caviar leather, silver hardware. And of course, I first looked at it, um, looked for it here in the US. And I was always just sent pictures of the caviar with gold hardware. And I really wanted silver hardware for more casual use. And so, and I found out then that there is a wait list for the caviar silver leather classic quilted walk. And that's actually what led me to venture, venture abroad. And I had been looking into Selfridges because I followed their Instagram page, the London Shopper, which is um, the personal shopping, Selfridges personal shopping um, Instagram account. So I've been following their page for a while. So you know what? I said, let's give it a try. And the email that is on their contact information is actually... The London shopper's assistant, her name is Scarlett, and she was the first one who I contacted about getting the walk. And so I did, and she gave me a lot of choices, beautiful choices, and she did have what I was after. Um, and then she gave me the price breakdown, and this was... Okay, she gave me the price in pounds, and I'm sorry if I keep moving because I just feel like I want the frame to fit. Anyway, she gave me the price in pounds, and when I went ahead and converted it, it was a lot cheaper than U.S. retail. And then I know in U.S. I have to pay taxes, um, except if I purchase it from Bergdorf's or um, Hearst Lifers. I hope I didn't butcher that, but so those two places is where I um, used to get stuff tax-free and then the tax-free is a little bit of ambiguous because you do have to claim it when you file your federal tax return. Um, yeah, but so yeah. <laughs> and then when I went ahead and converted the price, um, it was a lot cheaper than US retail. And then she goes ahead and tells me that they actually removed the VAT, the the um, Great Britain or UK VAT. So it ended up being even cheaper than, way cheaper than US retail plus tax especially. So, so I told her, um, Wow, you removed the tax. Um, don't ship my item yet. So you do have to pay for shipping. And I'll go into that a little bit later. So I was like, don't ship my item yet. I really want to get a boy bag as well, if you have any. So she sent me their boy bag selection. And that time, they, don't, they didn't really have any regular um, leather, like lambskin or or caviar or even capskin 
So she sent me like the gold with a lot of CCs on it and they were all in small size and they did have the black patent and if you've been following my videos then you know that I ended up with the green which is more like a teal patent um, boy bag and I decided on that because I said if I was going to go with a patent leather boy bag which wasn't one of my choices really I'd want it to be a fun color so I ended up with that and the payment process kind of had me um how should I say this think twice about it not so much that I had to give my credit card info online um through um we started communicating through whatsapp which is a text app for international and i guess local but um so in order for them to guarantee or secure that it was me and i am not using the card as you know someone random she requested that my first payment be through bank transfer which is understandable so before I even contacted um, Selfridges I looked into all the personal shopping um, personal shopping Instagram accounts but they all just take bank transfer they're in the US so the price is about US retail plus their fees and so I thought if I was gonna do bank transfer and pay pay that much you know with the fees and all that from the US personal shoppers why not just you know try the overseas one and yeah that's how I found out that it was cheaper and I never looked back since so back to the payment the first payment I ever made was through bank transfer and you do at first I was scared because I thought I would do a bank bank transfer to Scarlet and I was like uh that's a little bit sketchy but when she gave me the bank info um you do have to deposit it to the Selfridges account so I was relieved there I have a little bit of trust issues but um with this I felt confident because it was through a company not just third-party personal shopper where I would deposit the money to their personal accounts but not that I'm saying they're fraud it's just that I have a little bit of trust issues not as much but so the so what I did because I do really like to prefer uh, paying with my credit card because I have cash back um, you know get paid a little bit while shopping but so what I did was, my first ever purchase was the walk and the boy bag. So what I did was, I asked to pay the walk in bank transfer. So I did that. I transferred the money and when, I, and when they confirmed that they received it, excuse me, um, I was able to pay the boy bag with my credit card. and. My other SA, Emily, actually offered to call me to get my credit card info just to make it more secure, but I have purchased from Hearst Life First before where you actually had to email your credit card information and your ID, and it was pretty secure. So hopefully, if there's not really like hackers out there who will hack the email, that's a whole different story but other than that you could also just call your bank if you suspect any fraudulent activities right so okay I'm kind of like losing my train of thought because I keep jumping from one thought to the other but so I did pay with my credit card and in my credit card you see that it goes through Selfridges and Co London which is where Scarlett is located and there I'm happy as can be oh and shipping so this is where I will mention shipping shipping through the London store 
is through DHL, which takes, I'd like to say, two business days if they get to ship it that day, which they're fairly quick to ship. Um, it does, and then through DHL, you would have to pay duty taxes. That's the disadvantage of ordering from the London store is because they only ship through DHL and you do have to pay for duty taxes. So the pro is that it's really quick, um, one to two business days and except for weekends, of course. Oh yeah, business days. Um, but you have to pay duty taxes, which in the past I have paid between 9% and 8%. I think it depends on the material of the item you're purchasing. So the first, my first order, I was taxed 9.2%. Um, yeah, 9.2%. And I think because it was all leather. And then the second order, the bigger order, which was the canvas Louis Vuitton stuff, I was just taxed 8 point something. I can't remember exactly, but I could also look it up on my iPad. So you do fast shipping, but duty taxes. And then I also have been following the Instagram account Celine at Selfridges. And at, originally I thought she was working at the London Selfridges as well. But later on, I found out that she works at a different um, location, which is in Manchester. It's just a town, um, I think, north of London. I'm not sure. But, so, she posted my Dream Nano, which is the yellow color, or ochre, I'd like to say ochre. Um, and so I went ahead, oh, that was the second time she posted it. The first time, I showed interest, but I didn't really jump the gun because I was technically on a bag ban, and I just had purchased the boy bag. So I was like, okay, I'll get back to you, and then when I did finally think about it, it was gone. It was sold. So when as soon as she posted the second awkward a couple of weeks after, I jumped the gun and purchased it. <laughs> because it is my it was my dream nano. Um and so when we made I made the payments, um she didn't ask me to do a bank transfer the first time, just credit card. Um, and then I asked her about the London store if she knew Scarlett, but actually that's how I found out that she worked at a different location and I was like, okay, so with this location, the Manchester location, they don't ship DHL unless you want to pay extra. So you pay for shipping and then you have to pay extra if you want DHL for faster service. So I said, okay, you know what, let me try the Royal Mail. And the Royal Mail, I'd like to say, takes about a week. That's the longest. The fastest I've gotten it was, I think, five days or four days. It really just depends when the U.S. Postal Service in um, the U.K. has a flight coming to the U.S. So I think it just really depends. So the, the longest I waited for a package was a week. And the shortest was about four to five days, I'd like to guess. But the only advantage of this, which I kind of actually prefer, but don't tell anyone, is that I don't have to pay duty taxes. When you pay for the shipping of Royal Mail, um, it includes the duty taxes fees, and so they pay that um, for you. It's what I was told, and so far my two shipments from from Manchester, which is the Celine at Selfridges, um, did not have duty taxes, but you do have to sign for it, um, both packages actually. So DHL you have to sign and the Royal Mail you have to sign. So the pro is that no duty taxes, the con is it takes, you don't get your package, you know, one to two days like you would with DHL. And then... So yeah, I think that was most of it. Oh, 
and how I end up paying cheaper is that it's because they do remove the bat. Um, I'm gonna check my iPad now to see what questions I have. So they remove the bat, and then how I track. Okay, let me just go through the questions. So, so it's just would love to know how you use a personal shopper, which is what I explained a little bit, and then. Oh, and I thank you for all the comments regarding seeing my face. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've just been getting nice comments, and I was actually worried the first time. I thought really hard about uploading that, and and now I feel okay about it. And then let me see. It's okay. It it would be nice to share how to place an order. So basically, you email them up first. And if you want more quicker replies, you could ask for their WhatsApp number. Both of them have it. And my um, essays are Scarlett from London and Emily from the Manchester Selfridges. So you email them and I link all their emails again down below. And it's just... And then it says, pay for the items is... Usually credit card, maybe the first time would be bank transfer with Scarlett. I'm not sure if she does that for everyone or just depends on the amount. And then tax stuff. Um, through DHL you do get, you have to pay the duty taxes. I think it depends where you live. So if you have a place with a um, smaller sales tax, I think they base it off sales tax. I think. Um... And then let me see, so how long does it take f to arrive, um, depends who you choose again, there's a pro and con. So with the London, one to two business days, three maybe if there's a hiccup with um, customs, or as long as you pay for it right away, because they send you a link to pay. <clears throat> and then with the Royal Mail, which is the Manchester location, is five to seven business days yes they are insured because it says are they insured um they are insured and you have to pay duty tax fees um yeah like i said with the dhl you do royal mail you don't but it's just do you want your item sooner or do you want to wait for it and save even a little more um and how much is that i think it just depends on the item or depends on you. It's going to be pretty close to your sales tax. I live in Los Angeles and the sales tax is 9%. So the first order I was taxed 9.2%. The second order I believe it was 8.2 or 8.8%. Something like that. I posted it on my Instagram too. And then Sam said, love that you have a personal shopper, but giving someone your credit info, were you apprehensive? So yes, I was at first, but this isn't my first experience with a personal shopper. And the Hearst Life First, I also preferred because I did get to use credit card. I would be more apprehensive. It was um, like through a third party personal shopper where you just send money through their bank. That's what I'm afraid of. Because with your credit card, you could always call your bank and... If you're not, you know, if you, you feel a little bit sketchy about it, which Selfridges is not, they are completely 100% legit. But if you feel at all um, sketchy about the transaction, um, you could call your bank if you're not confident. So that's why I love using credit cards because it is secure. Secure in that if you're, you feel like you're scammed or anything, then you could get your money back or even PayPal. <clears throat> So, but with bank transfer, you're kind of at an end because you already sent your money. Plus, you pay the fees to send it. I don't think you'd get it back. And if it was ordered directly from the store, like calling. Oh, okay. So, so if you're calling. So, yes. So, um, Emily did offer to call me. Or if you prefer that, then you can let them know to call you through WhatsApp and give your credit card info. From my experience, though, they don't save your credit card info. Um, they delete the text right away. So every time I make a purchase, I do have to send my credit card info because they don't save it. 
And then... <laughs> yes, I do love that I save so much and that's why I've been just going through this route and only purchasing from my local boutique if I have to. And then, okay, here. Okay, I have, especially since they're saving them, Paul. How do you choose a personal shopper? Well, actually, I didn't really get a lot of choices. Um, how did I choose? Scarlett could help you out with anything that the London store has. And the London store has everything. Everything from Hermes, um, Chanel, Louis Vuitton. Um, what are the other um, brands that you can't purchase online? Louis Vuitton you can, but um, they have some items that U.S. didn't have, like my Zippy Turquoise multi cartes so and you know I'm saving a little bit so I went through that route again and then but Emily she works at Manchester like I keep mentioning but she can't help you out with Chanel because the Chanel at their location is a little bit snobby no offense and they don't want anyone to just sell it so she can't help you with Chanel and Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton has at Manchester has their own system that it's kind of like a separate store in a way but they're in Selfridges but with Scarlett the sky's the limit you could buy anything from her even yes dare I say it love bracelets so I did purchase my love bracelet at the boutique here a lot um in California and I kind of wish I didn't and purchase it through Scarlet but actually the retail for the UK is a little bit more but they do remove the tax so I'm not sure how that plays out when converting and then with the duty taxes and stuff because Scarlet cannot mail through DHL I mean through Royal Mail Scarlet cannot mail through Royal Mail which would have saved a little bit of duty taxes but, so DHL, I would have to pay duty taxes. And then, let me see. So, how I chose a personal shopper. Um, Scar I didn't, you don't really get much choice. I think the London shopper just links you to Scarlett's email. So, that's how I got Scarlett. But she's really nice and sweet. And she answers all my questions, which I have a lot of. And... And are they assigned to you based on your personal and style preferences? No, not really. You just kind of have to request what you want to see and what you want um, to buy. And then, as a picky designer handbag lover, how specific can you get as far as your needs for your purchase? Example, made in France versus USA. Um, actually, they don't know that there is Louis Vuitton that is made in the USA. Because when I asked about the Pochette Matisse to make sure that it's made in France, she actually gave me the shock face like in my video um, when I mentioned that some Louis Vuitton items in the US are already made in the US and she didn't know it. So, so yes, you do get made in France or I think Spain and Italy depending on the item. And then do they confirm slash contact you before the final purchase? Yes. Um, this is all through WhatsApp and it's very much like like chat slash iMessage where it's instant. So you're talking instantly and during the purchase they're not away for a long time. They like to finish it and they send you a picture of the receipt. Scarlett always does. Um, Emily, you have to request it because she does mail the receipt. And then it says... Do you share your credit card info with a specific individual or like a secured payment site such as PayPal? So you do have to share it with the personal shopper themselves. But when you see the charge, it is through Selfridges. And it's secure because I do have to give my credit card info every time as they delete it afterwards. Shipping is about the same price. Shipping is about... 56 
for the biggest box pounds I'm not sure how much that is in in US dollars but it ranges from I think 56 is the most expensive and then it goes down from there as depending on the weight and the size of the box and like I said so even though they are the same payment for shipping um, with London you get it much quicker but with duty taxes and with the Manchester you get it five to seven business days no duty taxes but the fee is the same so it's really up to you um, which you choose but for Chanel and Louis Vuitton then you ha would have no choice but to pay DHL and duty taxes and ship okay how do you monitor the exchange rates the exchange rates is kind of just um, depending on your credit card really I know with credit cards sometimes have a higher exchange rate than the market but it's fine I still so what I use is my international credit cards which do not charge international fees uh, most cards charge between 3% um, 2.5 to 3% and that's just you know they're the banks the credit cards um, international transaction fee so I do use my credit cards with no international um, fees and um, these are cards including like Capital One Discover I have not used Discover but I might so Discover doesn't have it and I have a Bank of America that does not have a international fee so that's yet again another savings of 3% depending on that's the US dollars amount but as far as monitoring the exchange rate it just kind of um, depends on the day really you're purchasing <clears throat> and then do you have any hiccups issues with personal shopping no thankfully not um, and then how long have you been using the service? Thanks for sharing. So the very first time I purchased from a personal shopper was in March. And now it is the end of May. So April, May, and maybe June. So like about three months and that's about three months. And so far, no hiccups, no problems whatsoever. Um, I really love it actually. So... I mean, you could probably tell from all my unboxings are all from Selfridges now. <laughs> On regarding qu contacting them, we do have to um, take into consideration the time difference and they're not at the store 24 hours a day. <laughs> and what else? I, If I missed anything in this video at all let me know in the comments section I pretty much answered all the questions that were left in the comments section as of today and if I do get more questions that I did not address then I will just type and reply because now the video is 30 minutes long and I think I'll stop here so as I'm editing a video I um, forgot to mention that um, they do charge a 2% admin fee I think that's what Selfridges themselves charge for um, shipping the item overseas. So I just took out, I didn't have this earlier, but I took out my notebook where I um, calculate stuff. Let me just show you a sample of my calculations. This is my Celine order. So they take out, so from their retail of pounds, let's say... 270 pounds. Um, let's use this as an example. 270 pounds. And the VAT is, they take out the VAT of 20%, which is 45 pounds. And that brings the total to 225 pounds without the fee. And the fee is actually 2%. So with 2% of 40, um, of, so they remove 20%. And the t uh, what I found out is that the fee is actually going to be, so if this is 45, it's going to be 450 for this item. So 
there is yeah that's what I forgot to mention so I'm adding it on there is so they remove 20% VAT and they have a 2% fee I wrote it on a post-it after calculating that's the admin fee I don't think the personal shoppers themselves get it I think it's more of the fee from Selfridges so technically um, with that with the 20% removed and the 2% added on um, so it's like 18% it nets to 18% um, VAT oh VAT removed <laughs> that makes sense so yeah I think that's all that I forgot actually one more thing this is the last thing the 2% admin fee they're not the only one who charges that so I've also actually contacted Harrods personal shopping and although their communication is only through email which made it kind of hard so that's why I didn't go with them is um, they also charge a 2% admin fee and they remove the 20% VAT as well so Selfridges and Harrods has a net total of 18% VAT removed um, considering the admin fee of 2% and then what I found out about Harrods though is that I think they're they only have one shipping fee I haven't experienced um, I haven't used it but their shipping fee is only 45 pounds I think that's their um, flat rate I think well, it's flat rate I think yeah and so that's it again I'm sorry I keep inserting these videos but yeah I think that's it everything that I know um, and just a disclaimer this is just what I know from experience so I hope it helps overall I have made five personal shopping purchases from Selfridges two from um, Emily at Manchester and three from Scarlett and I do have something maybe on the way from Emily again I can't miss this one so she posted on Instagram the shh sign and if you haven't done so contact her if you're interested in any Celine items because you do not want to miss this I know I don't but <clears throat> yeah I think <laughs> I think that's it for this video um thanks for watching and I hope this helped again if I didn't address any of your concerns in this video please leave them down in the comment section and I'll just reply through that okay have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye